Pediculosis is an infestation of lice, parasites that infest clothing or the hairy parts of mammals. There are three common types of lice infestations. There's pediculus capitis, or head lice, found on the head, pediculus pubis, or pubic lice in the pubic hair, and pediculus corporis, or body lice, that tend to cling to clothing. Head lice are commonly found in preschool and school-aged children. They're highly communicable through direct contact and cause embarrassment for the infested child and family. Inappropriately, the infestation is associated with poor hygiene. Head and pubic lice lay eggs or nits in the shafts of the hair. The whitish nits stick to the hair shafts and look like dandruff. Lice are very small, grayish white in color, and difficult to see. The pubic louse has red legs. Body lice survive on the surface of the skin by obtaining blood from the host child. Body lice lay eggs in clothing, and sharing infested clothing is the primary mode of transmission. With body lice infestation, scratching causes excoriated skin. There are also hemorrhagic spots on the skin from the sites where lice have fed. Head lice are suspected with the appearance of bites and pustules around the hairline and behind the ear, and of course, itching. Pubic lice cause itching in the pubic area. Secondary infection may develop as a result of scratching. The head louse may live for up to 48 hours away from the host. The female louse has an average lifespan of one month if able to feed regularly. The incubation period from laying the egg to hatching is seven to 10 days in optimal conditions. So, how is infestation prevented? By avoiding direct contact with infested people and their belongings. There should be regular inspection of children in schools, camps, institutions, and daycare facilities. Remember to use a clean stick with each child you examine. Advise parents to launder dress-up clothing regularly, washing it in hot water and drying it in a hot dryer for at least 20 minutes, and to dry clean all non-washable items regularly. It is important that they practice regular cleaning of shared hats or helmets for player sports by soaking them for one hour in lice-killing products, if sharing cannot be avoided. They should make sure that separate cubicles for storage of personal items are provided for all children in daycares and schools. The most common treatment for pediculosis is gamma-benzene hexachloride, that's quell or lindane, in a cream, lotion, or shampoo. When treating head lice, the hair should be washed with the shampoo and the bed linens washed in hot water. Nits should be manually removed from the hair shafts. Quell does not kill nits. This treatment should be repeated in 12 to 24 hours if indicated by the continuation of symptoms. The treatment should be done again in 7 to 10 days to kill hatching nits. These products should not be used for children younger than 2 years of age or during pregnancy. Recent studies have shown that treatment with NYX, the product generally recommended for children younger than 2, was the most effective. For an infestation of body or pubic lice, the child should shower or bathe, and the parent should dry the child and apply the lotion or cream to the entire body or to the white area around the groin for pubic lice. The lotion or cream is washed off after 12 to 24 hours. Clean clothing and linen should be used after each treatment. You would focus your care on controlling the infestation. You would instruct the child, family, and caregivers to report the infestation to the school or daycare and close contacts of the child. Advise the child, family, and caregivers to practice contact isolation for 24 hours after effective treatment. Help the family understand disinfection procedures, such as using Nix, Quell, or Lindane on all family members if indicated, and emphasize the importance of reading the manufacturer's directions on all products. These instructions usually cover manual removal of nits, effective cleaning of linens, beddings, and belongings such as combs and brushes, and washing linens, stuffed animals, and clothing in hot water, drying them in a hot dryer. Good thorough vacuuming of carpets, car seats, any upholstered furniture, mattresses, and rugs, and tips for preventing infestation.